Peter Donegan, welcome back to the Melbourne International Flower and Garden Show for a second year. Thanks for having me back. <laughs> I'm glad you came back. Yeah. You've come back with your incredible ideas and designs. Mm. And this time we have a moment in time, which is this garden. Yeah, it's a different story completely to, to last year, to be fair. Chloe, good to see you again, as by the way. <laughs> um, but it tells the story of a, a veteran pilot who's hoping to return to a place he can recall home, hopefully. Uh, a difficult story that I'm humbled to be uh, allowed to be able to retell through, through a garden, but um, I just, I guess, I hope the, the public, when they come, that they, they like it. I would really encourage the public to have a look through the window into that hut. The work that's gone into that, uh, it, it makes you tear up, it really does. It, it's. It's probably the most detailed garden I think I've ever done in my career as a show garden. Certainly when you look inside, that's six months work alone on its own, uh, alongside Nicole and, and Martin. When you go up a little bit further to the grass roof, they, Lily Dale started growing that, I think, around October, November. It's not being cut since. The grass on the ground level, uh, that's three and a half weeks ago they cut that. And then the grass on the outer is probably yesterday. <laughs> So it's the first time we've ever given such a detailed brief to a show garden, you'll appreciate yourself. So tell me about the planting choices. What have you popped in here? I can see obviously you've got some flowers, but you've got large established trees. It's, it's an interesting one because even if you take alone the hydrangeas that are flowering bottom right hand corner as the visiting public come look at it, to the top left, the hydrangeas are slightly in a little bit of a uh, I don't want to say a state of disrepair, yeah. but they're not as show gardeny as one might appreciate. The conifers, uh, or one conifer, uh, which apparently I picked out, but I won't admit to it, but I'm convinced, <laughs> I'm being convinced it's me. Again, it's the right thing to do, but I haven't genuinely planted conifers since I was 17. Uh, lime and green variegated euphorbia. Yeah. Uh, on the outer, and ag again, it's just that ear, even the, the Achilles, that are in the bed leaning up to the cabin. There's sort of that off pale orange that most people, I apologize for saying this, might remember from maybe their mother's kitchen cups or something <laughs> along the lines of an, it's a time be gone, but it's set in 1984, which is the age of the plane, yep. uh, with a 40 year old man who's hoping to return. But in a nutshell, if I go pre any drawing ever being done, there was three, four lines of text and they read, uh, if you have fallen, your name goes into a piece of Portland stone. If you've fallen and your body is amiss, your name appears in a piece of stone. And if you return and your mind is maybe not the same as it once was prior to being enlisted, then that's the story we're trying to recreate. And I think once you get into the cabin and you listen to the wireless playing and you see the rocking chair, and there's probably a lot of memories in there even with the light switch on the outside, I remember saying to Martin, if I could take a photograph of that and send it to my dad, rest him, yeah. we would have had a, a, an elongated conversation yeah. about a time past, which is, again, 40 years ago, 1984. It's a while back, and uh, yeah, but what, what, again, I'll say it, what a humbling privilege uh, with the Defence Force Welfare Association, Daisies, and a and very elongated list. I think it's the... It's the largest collaboration of people where the brief outside of drawings is close your eyes, let me tell you a story and everybody yeah. goes, we're on board, we're in. Yeah. And, and again, thank you for coming to have a chat with me about it. It's great no to see you again. No worries. Well, thank you for bringing this beautiful garden to life. Uh, highly, highly encourage you to come down and check it out and just be swept away by the emotion of the garden as you stand and enjoy it. So thank you so much, Peter, and Thanks, good luck Chloe. for the show. Great to see you again. Thanks again. Thanks.